A day after the cabinet approved the Judicial Service Bill 2010, it is now on its way to Parliament. It is being published today, uh, 16th of uh, September, because I finished with it. And that mean it means even if we follow the normal process of maturity of 14 days, it will be available for debate latest on 30th of September. One of the key highlights of the bill is the radical change in the recruitment of judges and magistrates. The country will be recruiting judges transparently. We have put in here amazing provisions requiring that the vacancies be advertised. Uh, we have even put the method of how the applications will be handled. For the minister, the financial independence the judiciary is set to enjoy if the bill is passed will be a breakthrough in the judiciary's quest for a total makeover. All that they will be required to do is to supply their uh, estimates to parliament for debate and once that is approved, the money is come directly from uh, the consolidated fund. The minister says members of the public will, under the new constitution, have a chance to make their contributions to the proposed legislation. In the past, bills like this would be pulled out of the minister's uh, briefcase at short notice, presented to parliament. The minister hopes that parliament will play its role in pushing through the said bill and making any changes or amendments. The cabinet has done the best they can. The, the task force has done the best they can. The validation meetings have done the best they can. It is now the turn of parliament. For Mutula, his reign at the helm of the Justice Ministry has been a fruitful one, having called for judicial reforms since the 80s when he was chair of the Law Society of Kenya. The minister says that the constitutional reforms process must be fully supported and the calendar and schedule of implementation, including that on judicial reforms, be followed to the letter. Abdi Osman, Citizen Live at Nine.